I see you, DC. I see you doing. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Will. So today I'm going to be taking a look at a couple trailers, not all in the same video. I'm just going to space it out in different videos. But um, to look at some of the new trailers that have dropped thanks to DC Fandom, which was DC's kind of online event, a la Comic Con, so to speak, where they got to drop some new trailers for Wonder Woman 1984, The Batman, The Suicide Squad, apparently everything has the in front of it now, and as well as the, the, the director's cut of Justice League that is directed by Zack Snyder. I think they're just calling it Zack Snyder's Justice League. But for this video, I'm going to be taking a look at Wonder Woman 1984. Out of all the trailers or all the DC properties coming up within the next couple years, Wonder Woman 1984 is probably my most anticipated. I really, really, really love the first Wonder Woman movie. I think Gal Gadot, Gal Gadot, Gal Gadot, I'm gonna say Gal Gadot. If it's wrong, I'm so sorry. But I really think Gal Gadot does a really great job as Wonder Woman. Um, she's been one of the best elements of all the DC movies in the last few years. Out of most of the current crop of DC movies that have come out, Wonder Woman is probably my favorite out of all of them with a close second being Shazam. So, and that actually got a title for the Shazam sequel that was announced during the event as well. But this is all about Wonder Woman, and this is the trailer we're gonna take a look at right now. Before I jump into the trailer, thank you so much for watching this and all my videos. Please comment down below with your thoughts on the trailer as well. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'm probably gonna repeat this at the end because it's something I typically do, but I wanna get it out of the way before I jump into the trailer right now. Whew, wow, I have so much energy today. All right, so let's take a look at this Wonder Woman 1984. Look. This world is not yet ready for all that you will do. Okay. Got some flashbacks. Your time will come, Diana. And everything will be different. <laughs> that's so sick, she's riding lightning. I think that's cool. Citizens of the world! I'm here to change your life. Anything you dream of, you can have it. You'll break your sargos. Diana, look at you. It's like not one day has passed. You look good. I don't want to be like anyone. I want to be an apex predator. You've always had everything. Well, people like me have had nothing. Well, now it's my turn. Get used to it. She's so good. I've never been one for rules. The answer is always more. Yeah, Patty Jenkins did it. such a good job with this. Is this the Invisible Joe? The way I fly, they will never find us. I forgot to tell you. What? Radar. Will they, will they shoot us? Oh, no, that's not it. Okay. Oh, okay. First look at Cheetah. Barbara, what did you do? So keen on this one, I figure uh, you are, but you know what? I'm ready to go. <laughs> Quicker, do better. Parachute pants? Yeah. Uh... Does, it, does everybody? <laughs> okay. All right, that was good. Oop, sorry. Initial thoughts on the Wonder Woman 1984 trailer. This is the third trailer, by the way. So I have This is the first one I've done a reaction for, but this is the third one I've seen. I kind of like the second trailer a little bit better, but I like the information that we're getting in this trailer. Trailer. We got the first look at, at Kristen Wiig, who's portraying Cheetah. Um, it looks okay. Um, not 100% sold on the design of Cheetah, but if you're going for 
cheetah human hybrid that's probably as good as you're gonna get uh, I really like how the 1984 time period it informs all of this the the fashion the style Diana's golden outfit looks amazing uh, we got more of Pedro Pascal and his um, Max Lord character. He is Max Lord, yeah, his Max Lord character, who in the comics has been kind of an antagonist for a couple of villains. We got a television version of him, I believe, on the first season of Supergirl. I like Pedro Pascal. He, if you don't know, he he is the person who is the Mandalorian and the Mandalorian TV show, and I love his performance in that. So I think he'd make a really good villain. He was also the villain in the Kingsman sequel, uh, I think it was called Kings of the Golden Circle. He was the villain. He was he was one of the antagonists in that in that, in that movie, and I and enjoyed his performance there there as well. So I feel like he's going to do a really good job in, in the role of Max Lord here. I like how Chris Pine is taking on kind of the naivete role that Diana had in the beginning of the first Wonder Woman movie, where she, she was out of her element being in the world of man, where he is obviously just plucked out of time and is now in 1984 and has no idea how to really act or what his role is except for being a support system for Diana in this period of time and he's clearly going to be a comedy, comedy relief character which I really like Chris Pine is a funny actor he can do comedy but um, we mostly see him in action roles. Um, he's done some romantic comedy roles, which he has a chance to explore his comedic chops. I think this will be a really good role for him as well. And also to kind of, what is the, the nature of his resurrection? Because that's, that's something that hasn't been explained yet. And I'm kind of glad there are certain elements of the movie that we still don't know. Obviously, Max Lord is providing people with a chance to have what they want. And Kristen Wiig's character obviously is a person who hasn't had much. And she sees Diana as the polar opposite of that, where she has everything she's ever wanted or has all the power and the beauty and the looks in the world. So that's, that's a good way to see them kind of combat each other. And... I really like that golden armor for some reason. I wasn't sure about it in the first couple trailers, but this one, it just looks really good. And also, she's riding lightning. Come on. That's that's dope. That's dope as hell. So, overall, I really like this trailer. I'm already sold on the Wonder Woman sequel. Like I said, out of most of the DC movies that have come out in the last couple years, it is probably my favorite of the DC movies that have been out. So, I'm looking forward to it. That is the Wonder Woman 1984 main trailer, according to the Warner Brothers YouTube channel. What did you think about it? Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on it. Uh, I've got a few more trailer reactions that I'm going to be recording. I'm probably going to switch a shirt up or two. They are all DC, DC movies centric or television centric trailer so just kind of keep that in mind subscribe to the channel if you do like my voice or like what I'm doing I really appreciate it almost at 200 subscribers that'd be really dope to get there by the end of the year as always th thank you for watching and until next time I'll catch you later hey thanks for watching this video if you did like this video why not give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on my gorgeous little face right over there you can follow me on all the various social media platforms right below and last but certainly not least if you've got a few extra minutes why not check out one of the lovely videos floating right over here later